Hi, it's Dennis here, Victor Echo 3 Bravo Foxtrot with another product review and a little bit of a tutorial, this time on the LDG RT600, RT Remote Tuner 600, 600 watts. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is what goes into the shack on, on your radio and the tuner uh, sits outside and it can be mounted either to your tower uh, or onto a mast and it's got a bracket top and bottom. Of course, it's all weather sealed and uh, you will just uh, mount that on your um, whatever antenna structure that you have. Now I'm out at the RV, this isn't exactly um, a portable type tuner, but um, it's pretty cool and this is as good a spot as any to show you exactly how it works. As a matter of fact, it's a great spot because I'm going to use it with a dipole up in the trees. I'm going to mount this to a camera stand here, and or actually a lighting stand and uh, we'll put a camera on it so you can see uh, both sides of what's going on here. So let's get to it. We'll uh, talk about the uh, how we hook this up and we'll talk about how uh, we actually uh, control it with this little box here that sits by the radio. Okay, before I mount this on the light stand, um, it's not going to be too easy to see, so let's take a peek at the uh, quick uh, hookups here. Uh, we've got our ground connection, uh, we've got our antenna jack, and we have our coax going back to the radio. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, two brackets, top and bottom. It comes with these uh, little U-clamps, and that will fit onto a tower section, and it goes through these holes right here. There's some uh, larger spacing uh, clamps or holes here for a larger clamp uh, that we mount to a mast. The clamps themselves are not included, uh, but uh, you can pick those up at any hardware store. And then uh, on the other side of things, we've got the RC600 uh, controller box here. Uh, two buttons on the front, we'll talk about those and uh, three jacks at the back, tuner, radio, and power. So let's get to it, let's get this mounted, and uh, we'll start the demo. So let's take a quick peek here. I've got this mounted on a uh, light stand. Um, doesn't matter how high up off the ground. We've got our ground connection down here. Uh, we have our lead going to uh, the radio. Now it's always a good idea uh, to put a little drip loop there, especially if your cables are going back upwards. Uh, make a little loop, tie that up. That way if you get some water that collects here, uh, they'll drip here and it won't migrate up um, to the connection. And then we have the antenna plugged in on this side. Now, uh, the antenna today is a, um, a vertical uh, for 20 meters. It's a uh, homebrew antenna. Uh, you may have seen that video uh, previously, and if you haven't, we'll pop a link up to uh, that antenna there. So that's it. That's the remote section of the tuner. We're all set. Let's go to the radio. Part two of the installation. This couldn't get any simpler. Uh, this is our remote box, and we've got uh, three connections there, our tuner. So this is my coax uh, coming from the tuner. Now, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the beauty of this whole system is once you have your match, um, your SWR uh, from the shack all the way through the house or wherever your coax is leading through uh, has no SWR, has no standing wave. So, you know, an awful lot better. Uh, not gonna harm any of the uh, little sensitive electronics in your shack. So we're gonna take a, a PL259 patch cord here. We're gonna attach one end uh, onto the radio section. And uh, lastly, we're going to uh, grab our power connection here. Uh, 12 volts DC, uh, one amp uh, supply, and we'll pop that in here. That's the supplied barrel connector. That's it. This goes on to uh, the radio. We'll pop that on here. Actually, we'll just pop it next to it here. And uh, this is going to get a little awkward with the camera. Uh, in your shack, of course, you're going to make things all neat and tidy. We're going to grab the back end of our PL259 and uh, or a patch cord, I should say, and we're going to pop that onto the radio. All right, I'm using my Yesu FT891 for this demonstration. I'll be honest, this is not um, the most ideal radio for this particular type of tuner, uh, but it works just fine. And uh, you'll see a little bit how, um, well, the initial tuning's a little bit awkward, but it's not really that bad. So let's turn on our radio here. Well, it's nice to hear some uh, some action going on in the 20 meter band. A little bit earlier when I was rehearsing the video, uh, there wasn't a whole lot going on. So we've got two buttons on the front, and uh, they're pretty self-explanatory, power and tune. Uh, when the power is off, the little LED is off, the tuner is in bypass mode. 
when you turn on the um, power, uh, then uh, you are uh, set to go. So this tuner samples RF and uh, it will automatically set itself. It's got a whole bunch of memories, I think a thousand in all, and um, it um, will just, um, once it senses the RF, it goes to it. Now my antenna is resonant on this band so I don't really need a tuner so let's go to another band here. Uh, let's take a quick peek. Uh, let's go kind of extreme at this time of day. There's not a whole lot going on on the 80 meter band and I can see here that well, <laughs> there is a net going on uh, but I got a zero noise floor. Let's go into a, a quieter section of the band here. All right we've got our we're going to turn our tuner on we're in the CW mode. We're going to check, make sure that the frequency isn't in use. And at this time of day, uh, there isn't going to be anybody, uh, not going to be a whole lot of traffic on the 80 meter band here. So, um, you know, really cool here. One thing I forgot to mention, uh, there's no power leads on the tuner. The power is sent through the coax, so you don't have to run extra wiring. So let's uh, quickly set up a tune mode here. We'll put the tuner in tune mode. And there it goes. It's uh, searching for a match. It's going to take a couple of seconds. It's doing its little uh, algorithms. And there we go. We've got a match. Uh, at this particular frequency, we're going to note that 3.725. Uh, uh, we've got a match of uh, 1.2 to 1. If you remember on a previous video when I reviewed this particular radio, uh, the SWR meter in this radio does register a little high. Uh, let's go to the 10 meter band and we'll see if we can get a match there. Uh, we're going to do band. Uh, we're going to select. Oops. We're going to select the 10 meter band. There we go, we're on 10 meters. Not a whole lot of action going on. I'm not hearing anybody, uh, which is kind of too bad, but it's good for this type of video. Uh, let's go into the CW mode. We'll hold that, uh, go into CW, and I'm not sure if we've got a break-in going on here. Yeah, we've got a break-in going on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is hit the tune button, let it go, and we'll start our tune match. You can hear uh, uh, the tuner going off in the background. And uh, we are searching for an algorithm here. And there we go, uh, 1.6 to 1. Uh, again, this is a little high, so it's probably around 1.4, and that's a good match. Now, remember we were on the 80 meter band. So let's go back to our 80 meter band, and we'll say that we want to uh, uh, check out what's going on on that frequency again. And we remember we've already tuned it at 3.725. Our antenna right now still thinks that we are on the 10 meter band, so it's tuned for it. I'm going to go to the voice mode. So we're just going to go to sideband. Bingo. We're in sideband. I'm going to grab the microphone. I'm just going to make a quick carrier. I'm going to whistle into the mic and watch how fast this tunes. And we're back to our tune. This is Victor Echo 3, Bravo Foxtrot testing. We're back to our tune. So now we've got that frequency in memory. So that's the really neat thing about this is once you get all of your frequencies in memory, it's just going to sample the RF and the next time you transmit, it'll take a second and it's going to go to that memory preset and you're good to transmit. Same thing. Let's do it one more time. Let's check out and make sure that what I'm saying is correct. And let's go back to the 10 meter band and um, again we were in CW here so let's go to uh, uh, single sideband we're in single sideband we want to get a tune uh, one two three this is Victor Echo 3 Bravo Foxtrot testing and there you have it as simple as that it tunes right up
So there's my take on the LDG um, RC600. A little disclosure here, this tuner was sent to me by LDG uh, for me to make this video. Uh, the opinions expressed here are mine and uh, they are honest. I think it's a great little tuner. I don't really feel that it's a tuner to be used portable. It works, we just proved that. Um, this is uh, more suited for a home station and uh, you know the tune-up uh, memory tuning or the memory uh, registering uh, would go a lot faster with a rig that had a, uh, a dedicated button for different modes. Uh, but you know that said it worked great uh, once we had our two memories programmed uh, we just uh, quick little whistle or a speak into the microphone and uh, it tunes right up goes right back to that memory setting. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. That's okay, but do me a favor. Write me a comment. Let me know how I can make the channel better for the next one. Thanks for watching. I'm Victor Echo 3, Bravo Foxtrot 7.3 for now.